Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm here at AWSI. I'm here with Ewan at Nash 2020 boards. You've got some great boards here. You've got twin tips, you've got surfboards, you've got foil boards, you've got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, we've uh, got a large board range this year with the birth of foiling and all that. And now we're getting into the wake foiling scene and all that. The board line's just increasing all the time. So, yeah, we've been working on it. We've got a couple of new twin tips, a couple of new foil boards, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll go through it all. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, first one. This is actually a brand new board this year. It's called the Switch. So, as you can see, it's uh, basically a board that's two different sizes in one. So the idea is that on the red side here we've got the short side, that's a 138 on this model. And then on the blue side we've got a 142. So the idea is there's a few different things you might want to use this for. You could be sharing a board with someone, then you have two boards, maybe boyfriend-girlfriend combination, only afford one board. Then you've got two sizes in one, you can switch the foot straps around. We've got straight inserts so it works well on both rails. It, and then you might have space in your board bag for a foil or something. And, or maybe you want a board for high wind and low wind. In the light wind, you might want to use the longer rail, but easier planing. In the high wind, you can hold down more power with the short side. So, yeah, this board's really great. It's super versatile. It's based off the Motion, which is our performance free ride board, our main seller. And, yeah, really, you've just got two size Motion in one. So, it's a, yeah, a great board. Nice. And what's this one over here? So then, yeah, then we come into the Motion, which uh, is what the switch is based off, but obviously it's just the one size. New this year, we've got the flex tips through through the tips, kind of a bit more control in the tip. Um, yeah, this board's super, just all round performance. Take you from your first board to whatever you want to do, board offs, big air, calves, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is the one. Perfect, then we got the Monarch. So the Monarch is a, this is definitely a performance board. This is based off holding a rail, holding as much power as you can and getting as much pop as you can. So this is what Kevin uses in the King of the Air to win the title and it just means he can just hold more power than anyone else, load up harder than anyone else and go bigger. So whether you're riding boots or foot straps and you want to go massive, this is the one. Nice. we got the drive over here. And yeah, the drives are kind of another performance free ride board but it's full carbon so it's super snappy as it says in the name it's really got a lot of drive through the turns through your takeoffs it's nice and light super quick really smooth ride it's just a great performance carbon board for I noticed you got a lot of channels and a lot of rocker on this yeah so this one's got a, a nice bit of rocker which makes it really nice uh, smooth landings and through chop it's really smooth channels we've got the single concave through the whole thing which provides some nice grip and along the rails we've got a few as well. Extra grip, the channels also help disperse water when you land to give you that nice soft landing. Got lots of pop on that. Yeah, lots of pop, lots of drive. As it says in the name, it's just a really fast, fun board. Nice, and now we move on to the foil boards. So we've got a few different construction foil board this year. This one is our 112. This is kind of the intermediate to expert foil board. With foiling really, over time, I've kind of learned that the smaller the board you can ride, the better. So, this one is a 112. This construction comes in a 127 and a 144 as well. The 144 is a nice, easier to ride one. The 127 is for that bigger guy that wants a board like this. But, you know, this is a bit small for some, really, some of the really big guys. Obviously, we've got the tracks here, so you can adjust your foil position. We have the abracadabra mount standard. So, you just keep the mount on your board and slide the foil in wherever you want. So this is definitely a, it's got foot strap holes as well, so you can ride this one foot straps or strapless, and it's, yeah, great performance. And then we got the hover over here. So yeah, this is the, the hover wake, which is a new one this year we've been working on. This one is the most versatile foil, foil board in our lineup. You can surf this, you can kite it with, with fins. It's got um, space for surf fins, got obviously the foil mount. I ride this on foot straps as well for big air as well. You can ride it behind the boat as a wake surfer, kiting, surfing, whatever you want to do with it. This is definitely the all round and will be a big one for most people. Nice. Yeah, so. What do we got over here? We'll move into our surfboards. First up, the go to. So, this is the go to is kind of the one you want to ride for all round surf, surf riding. So, Waves up to anything, not obviously, you're not going to be riding jaws on this board, but 
This will handle a lot of waves, small waves, bit of strapless freestyle, super easy to ride, really nice construction, just like a cl classic traditional surfboard shape, so good all-rounder. And, and what type of fin system you got back on here? On the, on the, you got a thruster set up? Yeah, thruster Pr set up. All, all our boards are thruster set up, and it's just nice clean. We've got a nice rocker through it, so it's, it's nice and quick, bit of tail rocker, yeah. All cool. And then finally this skater over here. The skater is going to be a kind of dedicated strapless freestyle board. That's a discipline that's really getting more popular as times go on. And this year we've made it a little lighter, a little thinner. We've kind of got these in here, some uh, nice area to grab on the rails. It's a lot stronger than before as well. And all of our team riders are saying they can just jump a lot higher on it, land a lot harder, and then they also rip it in the waves. We've improved the rails this year, so it's a lot nicer turning on, on the rail as well, which is something we've definitely had to work on. And yeah, so now it's a really great all-round surfboard, and for strapless freestyle, this is the one you want to go for. Now I know you've got a ton of other boards in the line, and a lot of technical stuff people are going to want to talk about volumes, and bottom concaves, and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Where can they go to find more info? So obviously you go to nashkites.com, nashfoils.com, any of the Nash websites. We've got all the tech, all the videos. You find all the information you want on there. Well, thank you so much, sir. Cheers, mate.